fun. Welcome into Pop It Off. I am Danny Otto. Joining with me for the first time. First time ever. Hopefully not the last time. Definitely not the last time. Is my new good friend Tim. What's up, man? Not too much. Hey, I don't know if I can hear you. Can you guys hear him downstairs? Can you guys hear me downstairs? I can hear you now. A little bit better. Yeah, so you just got to be close to that mic. Really nice voice, I think. <laughs> and all the way from L.A., our best friend Pete. Oh, that's me. Why were we so delayed in that beginning? Because he wasn't talking really close to his headset, so I couldn't hear him. Or really close to his microphone, so I couldn't hear him. Not, not him, yo. I'm, I'm talking about, like, the lead-in. I heard the music play. Oh, 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 I don't know. They didn't he give me... He wants to know. He's already vibing on you, look, Danny. Let, look, let him know. Look, I go off of cues here, and no one told me I was in, so I sat here and just listened to the music and pretended I was pretty. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's all I did. I think that's what happened. It's exactly what happened. It's not very hard for you to try to look pretty, but Pete's got another story coming. Pete? I'm just staring at, I'm just staring at your shirts. I got hmm. street team. I got the unicorn. I got so many questions. It's a rainbow it's a, skid mark. Get what? it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a rainbow skid mark. Get it? Yeah. Look, at, look at Pete Westwood, though, sporting that serious beard. And it, somebody's losing weight. You look great, man. Right? I just want to say... You've been running all the time. Every time I, I text this guy, I'm like, hey, Pete, what's going on? He's like, I'm sorry, I'm in the gym. You know, with that sweet, like, Batman voice. Yeah. He does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what he does all the time. Just be ready. So. I was like, wait. Yeah, I do. We have to introduce everyone again to Tim. Um, Tim, as we like to say, you are essentially the Walmart Chris Pratt. Oh, thank you. I am. <laughs> yeah. That's not far off, actually. I'm sitting here going. <laughs> Like, hey, you know, hey, if, hey, if God hey. forbid, if Chris Pratt ever saw this, he would be like, are you effing kidding me? Especially <laughs> after his sweet no Michelob commercial where he's like, yeah, I'm here and he's doing all the training, right? You guys know what I'm talking about out there. And he's like doing all everything. He's like getting ready. He's getting pumped. And then he shows up and he's like, hey, guys, what's up? Out of the car, you know? And uh, the guy looks at him and he's like, who are you here for? And he goes, hey, I'm, I'm Chris Pratt. Doesn't recognize him. <laughs> he points him to the extra line. That's probably what Chris Pratt is feeling like right now when he looks at my face. Sorry, Chris, if you ever watch this. I was ready for you to hold up a drink like Chris Pratt and be like, "Our drinks, cool. our drinks are awesome and very, very <laughs> filled." Um, what we have to do is, I don't know who won the argument out. There, there was a "I'm going to pay for the drink off" uh, competition oh, that really happened was. right before the show. Really we actually was. have we have we have an international fan here. I, I can't that give guy. Full credit for, for him being a fan of, of, of just our show. He didn't travel here for our show. But he is he's from France. Uh, he's a fan of uh, MMA Junkie Radio, the other show that I work on, Middays. Shout out to everybody in the population who's also an MMA Junkie fan. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> his name's Lucas. He's from France. He's uh, actually visiting the U.S. this, this uh, week, week and a half. You're about, oh, three weeks. But this week, you're on the East Coast. Next week, you're on the West Coast. And then the week after, you're in, you're in Vegas for the Junkie Gathering. I got it. I got your itinerary. I'm good. But anyway, so, so there, was this, uh, there was this little... I don't know uh, if you guys want to turn his mic on. He's on Corey's mic. I don't know. There you go. Your mic is there on, too. Is. Say hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> you but, don't sound French. But I am. <laughs> hi, Lucas. What's up? He absolutely sounds French. What are you talking yeah, about? He does. Listen. What do you want him to sound like? Pepe Le Pew? What do, you, what do you expect? He's got wine I next see, to him. Of course, he's I French. He's drinking wine. He's very refined as compared to you two schmucks. You're <laughs> drinking. <laughs> anyway, rhyming all, and burns. The thing, it's all the Pete Westwood style. <laughs> the thing that started this whole thing is hashtag shut up, Pete. Mm. Uh, the thing that started this whole thing was I don't know who to give shout outs to for the drinks, but the drinks are great. That's for Tim. Oh, for Tim. Yeah, all right. One. That's my one, my one cool thing. Okay. Well, yeah. thank you so much for the drink, Tim. Absolutely. My pleasure, yes. guys. Thanks for having me. 
<laughs> he bought himself onto the show. See, we're that easy. You buy us a couple Yikes. drinks and you get to host the show. That's, I don't know that's a great thing to tell your fans because now you know what's going to happen. Everybody's going to come up and say, hey, listen, I just want to buy a little airtime. And they just hey. they slide like a 20 across. Yeah. How much does this buy me? That's right. Like, All right, a yeah. segment. Or Pete West would advise you a lot. <laughs> so. I was just hearing like, I'm listen, I'm easy too. You just have to buy me a drink. I'll pretty much do whatever. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> I've sold my soul. Haven't we um, all, right? Dirty, dirty <laughs> things. Thank you, Whoa. Strong Style. Hashtag shut up Pete in the chat room. Thank you. <laughs> shout out to everybody in the population in the chat room. Johnny Rico, Chili Billy, Strong Style. I thought we saw I saw a couple other people. Martin, number one fan, Martin. I can't believe I didn't see you. I heard about this guy. <laughs> everybody knows Martin. Cor Actually, I, I'll, say, I'll tell you this. Uh, Strong Style, I believe, was the one who just said it. Uh, Corey's on next week. She's going to be co-hosting with us next week. What's up? But this week we have we have Tim. We have Tim tonight and for <laughs> Wow. What was that? I thought it was the start of the Martin show and then it got really dark all it of did. a sudden. It did. They were really excited. There was like Corey and then they introduced and then there's Tim. But that's all right. <laughs> you know, I'm still hanging in. <laughs> I'm still here. I'll tell yeah. you this though. Corey didn't win everybody over until by the end of the first show. Oh. Second show, she hit her stride and everybody was like, all right. How about that Corey girl? Okay. So All right, so I have some work to do out there. Yeah. You, you right. win them over in the first show, then they like you for the second, and then you don't you're not back next week, and then you leave them wanting more. Oh just I see. like Corey did. Just like Corey did. All right, Corey. I don't know who you are, but I'm gonna try to follow in your footsteps. You're basically her enemy now. Uh, <laughs> it's a competition. <laughs> I think I, we got the Game of Thrones of popping off right oh, now. It, yeah. <laughs> oh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh wait. When are we gonna introduce that? When are we gonna have Tim? Finally, find not the Game of Thrones, but our other video that we want him to listen to. That oh, is a bad crap! I have to. I don't what know if this? we have it. We have something. We have a surprise. Uh, I'll no. I'll call somebody over the break and see if we can get it. Here here's what threw everything off. Um, shout out to produ producer Bavona. He is not here with us tonight. He had a, a really really bad migraines throughout the day, mm. so he had to leave and and go home sick and everything. That's kind of what threw everything off. So downstairs right now we have Sean the Savage, like we normally do. Scuba Steve. Scuba Steve, yes, aka Scuba Steve. And then we also have Yang, who is an awesome producer who works normally um, before our show and then leaves because he doesn't want to see the garbage that our show is. Um, so he normally oh. leaves, but he's here. So okay. so we're running with, we're running with the B team. All of us are B team tonight. So uh, love it. But we'll be back after this. We, we got the pop of the night. We'll talk Funko. We got some uh, New York City Comic Con reveals. Mm. Some, a lot of stuff got announced. I'm, I'm hoping to see a little bit more stuff as the, in the in the coming weeks, I guess. But uh, stay tuned. Coming up after this, Funko. I think someone has a crush on you. Okay, who? Let's make a game of it. One of these is a lie. He's six foot four. He collects <laughs> stuffed exotic birds. He spends his free time trying to save lives. Are you talking about Kevin? Yeah! He's a registered bone marrow donor. Last week he got a call, he might be a match. He's so cute. Oh, he is. You could be a life-saving match for a patient with blood cancer. Learn more at DKMS.org. There's only one place to listen to the best fantasy advice, and that's the Fantasy Sports Radio Network. By downloading the FNTSY Radio Network app, you'll be blessed with having the top fantasy experts right in your pocket. You'll get award-winning and entertaining programs like the Roto Experts. Let's cock-a-doodle do it. Fantasy Best Friends Forever. Yo! Carton and Friends. Yeah, buddy! And so much more. You feel what I'm saying? Download the FNTSY Sports Radio Network app now and take the most trusted fantasy experts with you wherever you go. <laughs> Welcome back into Poppin' Up! What's up? I am Danny Otto. Joining with me is our guest host, Tim. And our best friend, Pete! And the best friend, Pete. There he is. Perfect timing to do that as you were shattering glass. Anyway, so uh, I, I, I have to break the, uh, the, 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 fir the fourth wall, the curtain revealed. I don't know. Sean, check your text messages. I called you over the break, but you didn't look at your phone. Check your text messages. There's a video that we want to play the audio of, and I need you to find it. Is this my surprise? Scuba Steve. Scuba Steve. 
It is your is surprise. Is? Yes. Yeah. But while he goes and finds that, um, hopefully somebody else is also, or, or if Yang wants to find, I don't know. Can, can we get a close-up on the pop of the night mm. before, before that happens? No? Yes? Yeah. Yeah! All right. So the intro music normally is something having to do with the, the Funko Pop of the Night. Mm. <laughs> that one didn't, and here's why. <laughs> <laughs> Producer Chris had to leave, like I said, with migraines and stuff like that. Earlier, he didn't. I was going to surprise him with this because he's a huge Back to the Future fan. So I didn't tell him, so he just put in something. Oh, I and, see. Yeah, I didn't change it. So, okay. we, we do have the uh, Canadian Fan Expo. There we go. All right. It? It's what he was playing. Yeah. Right. But, uh, so this is the Marty McFly uh, from the Enchantment Under the Sea Dance. It was a uh, Canadian Fan Expo exclusive. And, or a shared exclusive, I guess. I have to give huge shout out. I know everybody's uh, going, oh, you, you, Martin's more special than everybody else. I have to say this. Martin is the one who hooked me up and was able to get me this. I missed this because I was traveling to L.A. to visit Pete. Oh, man. So I didn't get this. That's incredible. I know. So so number one fan is number uh, one Martin, fan. You're the best. Yeah, number one Appreciate fan, Martin. You, man. Uh, grabbed this for, uh, for me, and uh, he sent it over. I mean, it, it came in like two days. Really? Yeah, he shipped it out on Friday. I had it yesterday. That's amazing. Yeah, it was great. So big shout out, Martin. Thank Thanks, you so Martin. much. This was one that I really, really wanted. Um, and I know producer Chris is like probably shouting at the screen if he's watching. He's probably not watching. Uh, <laughs> he will be kicking himself later when he comes in um, and he sees that we had this in here and he didn't get it. So. Oh, man. But big shout out to you, Martin. Thank you so much. This is actually, it was $15. Okay. And right now, it's up around the uh, $40 to $50 range. Okay. Just I want to know how you feel about that, Danny. What do you feel about that price range? <laughs> well, I wasn't going to pay it, so luckily, uh, I got hooked up for the retail value price. That's amazing. But, uh, I, I mean, if you slap a shared exclusive sticker on anything, it kind of, it'll double the value most of the time. That's amazing. But well worth. I know. On Thursday, I do have something that we're going to talk about where that didn't pay off as well. Oh. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Yeah, so that's the theme of our our, um, our our Funko Pops leading up to Comic-Con. Okay. Is we will have convention exclusives, mm -hmm. and we can kind of... Oh. Awesome. Uh-oh. Is this... Is this, is wait, it, is this, it, is this my Pete Westwood surprise? Yeah. Um, I'm really excited about this. Is thing. it like 30 seconds? 30-ish seconds? Grab the stick there it is. twist it! Oh my god, dude, this is an MMA fight, dude. You too much. twist that dick! Twist this dude! <laughs> twist this dick! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh 